What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today Brian and I kind of have an off day, I guess we can call it. We got a lot of cleaning to do, washing the truck, the GTR, and both bikes in the background. You'll also notice that the Supra is missing. What's up with that, Brian? Still working on the paint protection and everything. The supplies were like delayed another day, so tomorrow is Wednesday. They should be here. We got all the paint protection done and should be done with everything tomorrow. Yeah, it's a huge project. It's a lot of work. It looks like a lot of work. 13 hours on Friday. It'll be another 13 hours on Wednesday. <laughs> so it'll, it won't be daily. That's crazy, but if you want to take care of your car. Oh, it's fun. Well it. I mean, it's going to be yeah. amazing. So that's being done at Innovative Speed Shop. Huge shout out to them. They've done the Tacoma, the GTR, working on the Supra, and the C8 will be going there at some point. So that's basically today's video, talking about the 2020 C8 and I guess where is mine. Um, with the strike going on and the 1LT coming out with some other options and everything. Uh, a lot, yeah. We'll see if it's going to be delayed. We'll also see if I'm going to change the spec or the trim level of my C8. Because if you haven't seen, I went with a 2LT, but now the 1LT is coming out with a lot more options. So I don't know if I could save like seven grand and get a 1LT. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, yeah. but there's also things on a 2LT you can't get on a 1LT that I kind of like at the same time. So I'm going to think about that a little bit. We're going to get the truck. Well, we're going to get the truck out of the way of the GTR, hear that army trick start up. And uh, hopefully you guys saw, I put the pedal commander in the Tacoma. Now it's not going to do anything on the cold startup, but if you missed that video, definitely go and check it out because it, uh, <laughs> there's the army tricks. It made a huge difference. I honestly wish that I had some uh, type of pedal commander like this for my R8 just to see the difference in a sports car versus a truck. Hey, you know what would be cool? What if we took the Paddle Commander out of this and put it in the Supra? Yeah. Just to see what it would do. I'm a little scared about trying that. Yeah? But, I don't know. Yeah. It's not gonna, it doesn't affect the ECU or yeah. anything really. I mean, it's not gonna throw any fault codes or en any engine codes. But as we get our buckets out here, we get a lot of comments from you guys. How do we keep our vehicles in excellent shape? Which is kind of ironic because we get some comments too about why do you keep them in good shape but take it off road. Yeah, people are <laughs> interesting. But uh, this is what we do. We got our soap, bucket, chamois, uh, weird sponge things, and we do. A one, that's it. One bucket. So, a lot of people are always about the two bucket method, but honestly, we've never done that, and our cars have never had swirl marks ever. The only scratches I have on the Tacoma are from operator error and off road use. So that's pretty much it. If they're like, if it's like heavy dirt off road, I'll power wash it first. We're gonna rinse them off. The truck is ceramic coated too, which makes it very easy to clean. And this paint job is very durable. <laughs> so. The removable paint job. Yeah. So Brian's got a good head start on the GTR right now. And I think where I'm gonna start is basically, I guess the model or the trim level that I'm getting on my C8, which is a 2LT getting Z51 package along with the front end lift system, navigation. What am I missing? The nav two standard on that. Oh yeah, nav is standard. I'm getting the two-tone interior. So that's, a, that's a, a good chunk of money just to get that option. So basically what I'm getting over a 1LT is the navigation, the front end lift, and the seats, which technically I guess I could do without. I mean, you could get a 1LT. I'm gonna with, have to hold off on that. With nav and the red seats with black leather and red stitching. But if I get solid red seats, it'll be the GT1. It's seats. gonna poke out like crazy. Because yeah. you have to get, to get the, the two-tone interior, you have to get the GT2 seats. Which? So you got about two grand worth of interior. Yeah, I know, which is a lot. An insane interior. A though. lot of money, yeah. The nice seats, the two-tone, you got the red on the dash as well. But the difference between the GT1 seats and GT2 seats is honestly nothing but the color change. They're well, pretty much the same seat. The backs are different. Well, yeah, you get carbon fiber on the backing of the GT2 seats, but also on my train of thought there. Oh yeah, back to the navigation. A lot of people are telling me just to do the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, mm -hmm. but they don't understand. I want the hard drive now. Like if you're for a second buyer, I think that's an important option to have. When I worked at the dealer, any expensive car without hard drive now sat forever. Yeah. Like literally, we had a nice Porsche come in. We were gonna buy it for 65 grand. Then I clicked the nav button and it said nav not available. Our wholesaler offered us 64 and then when we told him there was no nav, he was like, I'll give you 55 for it. He's yeah. like, I don't want it, I don't want that car. Yeah. 
So it's not worth having it without hard drive navigation. It's a personal preference of something I want, but yeah, like Brian said, second buyer is Resell. most likely you're going to need navigation, a hard drive nav. And plus having like with the Supra, I have both. If my cell doesn't work, my cell service, I have no nav then. But I have navigation in the car, so I'm good. I can yeah. always get home. Yeah. So I don't think people understand that phones die. and you can char I mean, you can charge it in the car yeah, but at the same time. But service. regardless of if it's charged, service is a big, yeah, a big thing. If you're on a road trip or something like that, it's just I, I need navigation. So while that's a cool option now on a 1LT, does, now, would that come with parking sensors, uh, blind spot, lane keeping, forward collision, adaptive cruise? I don't know if the 1LT offers that. Not that you really need any of that stuff, but it's kind of cool. But. So I really, really want the front end lift. And the reason that I say that is because the GTR, well, it barely makes it in the driveway, right? The R8 was pretty darn close on this little lip. And I think Brian said, someone commented, why don't you modify the driveway? I'd have to modify a gas station pull in, go into the bank, whatever, you know, fast food or grocery store. I'd have to modify every single circumstance. circumstance. Yeah, so our one driveway isn't the only issue when I could just get the front end lift. So it's cool that it is available on the one LT. Two LT. Oh, crap. Only two LT. <laughs> so it's cool that it's, well, yeah, it's not available on the one LT. So basically, I'm down to spending about seven grand more for a two LT versus a one LT. And basically you're gonna get a cooler interior, front end lift, mm -hmm. and some of the tech features. Yeah, so is it worth it? Well one, I've never spe I've never spec'd out a car before. There's a few ways to look at so, it. So number one, at seventy one grand to go to seventy seven grand, that's not the biggest increase. I mean yeah, we talk about yeah. it's still a lot of money, but it's not that crazy. But you know? the big thing with that too is getting the Z fifty one package adds five grand of that. Yeah. which is going to be most likely hold its value oh, yeah. for a second owner. So, so I think Z51... I either don't spend the five grand or and sell the car for five grand less than with Z51 or spend the five grand for Z51 and sell it for five grand more than without Z51. And we'll have had the opportunity to use that package. Yeah, enjoy. yeah. See, that's something I was on the fence about. For five grand, you get larger tires, or not larger tires, you get better tires, larger brakes, the cooling... But if I want to supercharge it at some point, the extra cooling will be something I won't have to do later. But yeah, I think Z51 is worth it. Front end lift is worth it. I want navigation because I, I want navigation. The other thing now is, do you get magnetic ride for, what, 1200 bucks? See, I don't know about that. I'm not sure if I want magnetic ride. I'm going to have to go and drive a C7 with and without magnetic ride. I had that in my R8, and honestly, I didn't use it hardly at all. Yeah. Uh, half the time I f would forget to push the button and it was just a more comfortable ride in non-sport mode. So if I don't get magnetic ride, I'm stuck with yeah. hopping in the car and turning it on, right? It is what it is. It is what it is. It Other is than performance being something. able to lower it. We can adjust them and lower the ride height, yeah. Yeah. But the ride quality is what it is. So this video has really turned into me watching Brian wash his car and uh, the truck has already evaporated with what I sprayed on it. <laughs> so production for the C8 was going to start December 2nd, I think so, and and now what I've seen is it's going to be pushed back to the beginning of February, was that right? Yeah. So basically two months of a delay. So I was supposed to get my car March, end of March, beginning of April, maybe even June at the very latest, but now that's going to push it out two months, which is kind of disappointing. I don't think it's probably gonna last that long. So maybe they'll be able to do production sooner than the two month delay right now. And uh, I'm not sure how much my local dealership is gonna know about this. Yeah, We'll see. They're gonna hopefully give me some updates on, I guess, what's to come of this. So that's kind of something that's a little, I don't know what to call it. I mean, it sucks. Stupid. what the people are going on strike because they obviously want more money. We'll see, I'll keep you guys updated with what I find out because Obviously, I don't want to wait two months for my car. Everybody's car is delayed, so it's not like... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's every single buddy's car, so... It's not like you're just going to be left in the dust, so... Yeah. For the GTR fans, it makes me make sure I'm keeping this longer because I'm not going to consider selling it until the C8 gets here. Yeah, we're going to compare the <laughs> GTR and the C8 because I just saw a Motor Trend tested the C8 0-60 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. This is 2.7. Yeah. So all-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive, which means I really have to get 
uh, some good traction and hook up. But your top end isn't gonna match this. Yeah? I got 600 at the wheels. That might be a 450 at the wheels. So the top speed on this is what, 200? Yep. And the C8 is like 194. Already, it's not gonna touch this. Yeah? The Supra, I'm confident I'll actually be faster. Really? I bet you it will be. Stock to stock? I'll at least have something on it by then, but I, I'm, I'm confident oh, yeah. the Supra's gonna be faster. So for everybody well, That's crazy though. Supra, man. Because if you're putting 400 to the wheels, this has 495, it means it'll be putting more than 400 to the rear wheels. Yeah. But it weighs more. Yeah, and it doesn't have the same torque at you know, 2,000 RPM. What's uh, your pound feet of torque? At the wheels, like 400. Oh, well this has 470, so it's still going to have more than 400 to the wheels. Yeah, I'm just... That's great. I mean, I, I know I this... I believe in my car a lot. I know the Supra is quick, or quicker than most people are saying. It's fast. I mean, it beat my R8. Smoked it. <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how they do compare. Yeah. Um, I, it'll be good. It'll be a close one at least. Just a update on the C8 and basically do I want to do stick with my 2LT or go to a 1LT? I think the short answer is... Well, I'm going to have to pause here and think. Because <laughs> uh, it's seven grand. But will I regret not getting what I want? I mean, if you're going to buy a brand new car spec the way you want it from factory, yeah, it's already an expensive car, you know, 62,000 or no, 71 grand. Yeah. To save seven grand to not get it perfect, that's only, you know, 10% of the price. Yeah. Like, I really think the two-tone seats is going to be cooler than solid red, especially with the blue that I'm going with. It's going to be beautiful. Because if I was doing another color, solid red would be cool, like if I went with that gray. Yeah. That gray with red seats and red brake calipers would look cooler, but a blue car can't have solid red seats. Yeah, the two-tone really makes it nice. So, I don't think I really want to change the design because I really like the spec and the color that I went with. So I think, so I think I'm going to stick with the 2LT. So, all right. 2LT, Z51. And I don't have the magnetic ride, I have the front end lift, navigation and all that fancy stuff. So the only thing that could change is you gotta you gotta drive magnetic rides to see. Yeah. Because what if what if the um, normal Z51 while well, it's stiffer, what if it's fine? If you have no issues with it, because it's only gonna get more comfortable, I would assume. Yeah. And it's not like you're on the track yeah. every day, so you really don't need the actual performance of it. That's what you could say about Z51 too. <laughs> yeah, but it at least has its value. Yeah. True. But and the brakes will look cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess that'll be cooler. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Just an update on the C8. You got nothing done on the truck. I got nothing done on the truck, so now it's my turn to wash <laughs> the truck uh, as we watch Brian wash the GTR. So don't worry, the truck is getting a bath today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, make sure you click on that notification bell as well so you can stay up to date with all of our latest projects on the Tacoma, the Supra, the GTR, maybe some motorcycle stuff coming here in the future. And we'll see you guys in the next video.